Hi Geminis, welcome to your January 1st half 2019 general love readings for Sun, Moon, Rising, Geminis. So let's go ahead and get started, my lovies. First card out, Page of Wands, followed by the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Underneath the Page of Wands, we have Seven of Swords. Under the Ace of Cups, we have Ace of Wands. And then under the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Hierophant. Bottom of the deck, we have Nine of Swords. Mm -mm -mm. So you're in fears, worries, and anxieties. You're having them. You're overthinking something. Having insomnia, sleepless nights. Mm -mm. Gemini, what's going on, boo-boos? All right, so let's see what's going on. The signs that I see here is fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then we may have a Taurus in the house. Um, this could be in your chart, or this could be people that you're dealing with, or a person that you're dealing with. All right, take it how it resonates. So, Page of Wands, Ace of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Ace of Wands, and the Hierophant. So, you have this passion that has been ignited, right, with this Page of Wands. Now, this could be very young energy, like, you know, it's a excitement. It's passion. It's like you have this zest for life. You know, it could be like you are ready to go to school and learn something. You're ready to grow, learn, expand. Um, and this is like that passion. You know, the universe is giving you a passionate new beginning, a passionate new start. Okay. And this is, again, passion runs deep. So they are emotions. So that Ace of Cups. So this is something very exciting or exciting going on in your life, Gemini. And it's like new opportunities are coming in, but, 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 but. And this could also be with work too, because you know, the hair front can be something very traditional. It's an organization. It's something that uh, has a structure. So this could be in work, okay? Or it could be putting in work, you know, towards what it is that you're passionate about. All right. But right now, at this current moment, it's like you're deceiving yourself. You're robbing yourself from this whole opportunity because of these fears that you have. Fears. False evidence appearing real. These are illusions. These are you overthinking a situation. Not looking at the picture clearly. Because of fear and you're robbing yourself of this opportunity the universe is showing you signs and synchronicities that this is your opportunity this is your chance right but it's you you have that fear because what it, it's like the thing that you really want the most you know is going to be be awesome right and then in a relationship, this could be commitment. This could be a marriage. This could be, um, you know, just some type of like spirituality, even going higher, ascending higher to a, a level of commitment or ascending higher to a level of spirituality or ascending uh, to a higher level in a work situation. Okay. And this <laughs> ascending to a higher level is bringing you a lot of passion and then it also brings you emotions. Again, passion is energy in motion, emotions, all right? But again, having that fear and robbing yourself from this opportunity. All right, so layer two. Let's see what's going on, layer two. So, clarifying the Page of Wands and the Seven of Swords is the Fool. So again, what is it that you're robbing yourself from? What is it that you're fearful of? What is it you could even possibly be sneaking away from, to towards, sneaking away towards, okay? Um, it's, a, it's a new beginning. It's a new start. The Fool is here to say, to start all over again, to start fresh, to start new, new journey in life, right? And this is the card of Aries. So you might be dealing with an Aries or a, somebody that has Aries in their chart. 
okay now also for some of you there is worries fears and anxieties because there is this passion that you feel for this person um but they could either be lying cheating or stealing to you or you're you're feeling like they're doing that how I'm feeling it though it's like you're the one that has those fears and you're deceiving yourself because this is a new journey this is a new journey and this is something passionate that you want to go towards so what does ego do what does lower level energy want us to do they want us to stay low they don't want us to ascend so they're going to put in these fears worries and anxieties and then also it's like a test you know how like the universe will test you to see if you have faith to see if you really want to go towards what it is that you want like how bad do you want it are you going to allow fears, worries, and anxieties or overthinking something to win? Or are you going to go for it? Do you still want it? How bad do you want it? Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands is being clarified by... Uh, the Eight of Swords. So... You're feeling trapped and stuck in going towards this new journey. But this new journey has love. This new journey has passion. Now, for some of you, it's like you feel stuck. Like you want to feel stuck in this one relationship that has that passion, that has that journey. But have for a lot of you, I'm feeling like you're feeling stuck because of these worries. Because you're deceiving yourself and you feel trapped. Because you're not releasing what needs to be released. You're not going towards what it is that you truly desire. You truly want. That's going to ascend you to a higher level of whatever it is that you are trying to go towards. Alright. So Eight of Pentacles and the Hierophant has been clarified by the Six of Cups. Now, for some of you, the person that you're dealing with, like in a love relationship sense, this is somebody that you have dealt with in the past. Now, it could be somebody in this lifetime past relationship that you had that karmatically did not finish. Um, that is to that should or that is supposed to go towards a higher level of commitment or. Um, for some of you that you're putting in all this work, energy and effort in a um situation where you're trying to get higher in a position or or like in a job sense this is like going back to something that you've done again in a previous lifetime or in this lifetime but in the past all right something in the past is trying to return to you but you're feeling stuck and so what you're needing to do is to release to take that leap of faith to trust in what your intuition is telling you where is it that your heart is telling you? What lights that fire within you? Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Whatever you decide, Gemini, in regards to going towards your passion, it's telling me like, there's no need to have this. This is you. This is strictly you. This is you choosing you to do this. This is the universe telling you that whatever you decide once you've released whatever it is that you're needing to release that you, that you're you know you're you're trying you're like standing at the edge of the cliff and you're looking down and you're like should i jump or should i not should i go towards this job should i not should i leave this relationship to go towards the one that i want or should i not a deep yearning inside of you is telling you go this is divine timing saying it is time, Gemini. It is time for you to take that leap of faith. Because once you take that leap of faith, Gemini, blessings come in. Blessings come in. And these blessings are coming in because in a past lifetime, you did some type of service. You did some type of something where it's warranting blessings. I'm feeling that really strongly and I am getting goosebumps. All right. So clarifying the four and the eight of swords is the ten of wands. 
So it's like you're feeling trapped and stuck. There's a burden that you're carrying. Or you're feeling trapped and stuck because you may have to move. But once you take that leap of faith, if you do have to move, things are going to go out in your favor. Again, things are going to happen for you. But like if the, if it's like a burden that you're carrying, especially with that eight of swords, you feeling trapped and stuck and then you carry you carrying this spiritual burden. It's like now you get to drop. You get to drop everything that you're carrying and you get to start all over new and you go back to going passionate all right so clarifying the eight of swords and the six of cups is the five of swords ego ego is what key is what's keeping you stuck in a situation that you don't want to be in ego is the one that is keeping you trapped mentally mental confliction it's like you are fighting something it's like your fears is allowing you to fight with what it is that you want to go towards it's telling you oh don't drop the sticks don't drop the sticks don't drop your burdens and your intuition is telling you what gemini drop the burdens because once you drop the burdens this is what's coming in and do you know why you have to drop the burdens? Because you can't carry anymore. Those burdens, the, those wands, it's not passionate no more. It's time to drop it and just go back to one. Being light, being lighthearted, being carefree. Because this is false. We are all been taught that this is what we need in our life, society, Growing up, whatever. Oh, you need to do this. You need to do that. You need to do. You need to do. You need to carry it. You need to carry it. When your intuition is telling you no, let's have fun. Let's have fun. Let's go towards the thing that makes us happy. Let's go towards the things that makes us passionate. Okay? I mean, even in psychology, they said, like, when I was in social psychology, um... They were like, don't do a job that you like doing as a hobby because you'll get burnt out. Really? If you're really that passionate about it, then why not do it? All right? Bottom of the deck and the overall energy is Nine of Cups. So, your wish is ready. Your wish is being granted. But again... It's like, which one do I believe in? I know my opportunities here, but what about this? So needing to balance this out. So that way we have a chariot moment, right? What does the chariot moment go towards? The wish. So it all leads down to one Gemini. That one, nine of wands. You're very guarded. You're wounded, but you fought and you fought for so long. You're fighting too, is what I'm getting. You're fighting the change. You're fighting the the fears, the worries, the anxieties. You're fighting the 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 feeling stuck. You're fighting. You could also be like communicatively fighting with somebody, arguing with somebody. All right. Um, bottom of the deck. Overall energy, King of Cups. You'd be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or have that in your chart. But to me, this is the bottom of the deck is like the overall energy. So it all led down to one. What are you fighting for? You're fighting for love. You're fighting for passion. This is the card of Scorpio, King of, King of uh, Cups. And Scorpio energy is feeling something very intense, right? Very strongly. Strong love, strong desire, really intense passion. 
It's like you're you're trying to fight for it, or you're trying to fight against the passion. But what feels good? What really feels good for you, Gemini? So the first card for you is love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Love yourself first. What I always preach on this channel, I always preach you got to fill your own cup up in order for you to be able to give to another. All right? Because you want your cup filled, the one that they're giving you. And you want to be, you want to match that. You want to be on the same page. You don't want to be on different pages. Right? So the next one says heart to heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Your feelings are real. Okay, they are worth exploring. Another card from Doreen Virtue. Your feelings are real. Your feelings are part of you. Energy and motion, emotion. Allowing it to flow, especially the ones that have, of happiness, joy, and contentment. Understanding why this darkness is here. What is it that is inside you that holds on to this fear and then looking at it from a bigger perspective you know intuitively that your blessings are for you that you deserve this that you deserve the blessings to look at it from a different perspective gemini because you are about duality looking at the, the other side of the sword right don't forget that and then the last card says, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You're guided to take. Here's your guide. Okay. What is it that you want to build that solid foundation with? What is it that's going to be awesome sauce for you, Gemini? I don't know if I did bottom of the deck. That was actually the third card. So the last card says forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you you experience the mo <laughs> you experience more love in your present moments. In your present romance or moments, I can't see. So healing the past. I feel like deception and this and this, right? The burdens, I feel like stuck, all this low level energy. You hear my voice, it's going low. Like my battery's low. And you fear that it's going to come back. It's not coming back. It's time for you to heal it, to release it, and to move on towards something more passionate. It's time. And once you do, things are going to happen to you. Like, once you go towards your passion, Gemini, the doors open. More doors open than you think. There's going to be a big surprise is what I'm getting to. All right. So Gemini, that is what I have for you for the first half of January 2019. Um, if this message resonated, please hit that thumbs up. Comment down below. If this message did not resonate, check back towards the middle of the month. Um, and if it still doesn't, just check down that um, check out that description box below. Hit me up for personal reading. And I will see you guys in the second half of January 2019. Love you guys. Mwah. Sending love and light. Namaste.